In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how to determine the equation of a cubic graph. In the previous lesson, we learned that there are mainly two different forms for a cubic graph. The first is when the graph has two stationary points, and the second is if it has one stationary inflection point. If a graph is given in the first form, together with its three x-intercepts, the following formula can be used to determine the equation. If a graph is given in the second form, then the stationary inflection point's coordinates will be given, and then you can use the following formula to determine the equation. Let's have a look at examples. Example 1. Determine the equation of the cubic function in the standard form as given. If we have a look at our sketch, we are given the three x-intercepts, and we can therefore use the first of the two possible formulas. Here we can immediately substitute, and we have x minus minus 1, the first x-intercept, x minus 2, and x minus 3. And to determine the value of a, we need to realize that an extra coordinate was given, and we can use the x and y value to substitute into the equation. So y will become 12, and each one of the x's will be changed to 1. And when we now simplify, we will have a times 2 times minus 1 times minus 2, which will give us 4a equal to 12, and that means that a is 3. And to finalize the equation, we are going to substitute this a value back into the equation and multiply out. So the equation for this function is 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 3x plus 18. Example 2. And again we are asked to determine the equation. In the sketch we once again have the form where we have two stationary points and once again we are given the x-intercepts. The difference is this time one of the x-intercepts is also a stationary point. And if this happens, that specific x-value will be used twice as an x-intercept in your formula. So when we substitute here, we will have x minus minus 2, and again x minus minus 2, and the last one x minus 1. Next, we are again going to take the extra coordinate and substitute into x and y's place. So when we simplify, we will have a times minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 4. And this will give us 4 equals to minus 4a. And that means a is equal to minus 1. This a value will then be substituted back in and the brackets multiplied out to determine our final equation, which will then be y is equal to minus x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4. In example 3, we are again asked to determine the equation of the function, but this time in a different form. If we go and have a look at our sketch, we will see that there's only one stationary inflection point given as minus 1 minus 2. And this will then be minus p and q in our formula. So for p, the sign will change in the formula. So we can immediately start substituting that in. So we will have a bracket x plus 1, because the sign changes for p, minus 2. And then we need to realize that an extra coordinate was given. And we can use that to substitute x with 0 and y with minus 3. And if we simplify this, we will end with minus 1 equals to 1a, so a is minus 1. So all that's left to do is to go and substitute a with minus 1, and then our equation will already be in the form that they asked us to give it in. So we'll have minus 1, and in the bracket x, plus 1 cubed, minus 2.